Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and today's tutorial is on the Quantum Armor Suit. Uh, the Quantum Armor Suit is pretty awesome. It's probably one of my most favorite items in Industrial Craft, if I do say so myself. It pretty much uh, adds a lot of neat features and uh, why don't I get started showing them to you. Now the first thing you need to know about the Quantum Armor Suit is most of them require an item called an Iridium Plate. Um, the Iridium Plate is crafted with UU Matter, and you need 7 UU Matter per Iridium Plate. There you go. This is the only way to get Iridium. Okay, so let's go ahead and craft that again. I've got two Iridium Plates now. Okay, so two Iridium Plates. I've also got this empty Lapatron Crystal here, and I'm going to give myself a pair of machine blocks. Just plain old regular machine blocks. I somewhere. There it is. Grabbing two of them. Put this empty Lapatron crystal and a pair of Iridium plates and a pair of glowstone dust gives me my first quantum suit armor, the quantum suit leggings. Now it's getting dark out here, so why don't I knock this guy off, get myself a Lapatron crystal, and I'm going to start charging my MFSU, and I'm going to place my quantum suit leggings in here, and you'll see that the MFSU will charge up my quantum leggings. They store 1 million EU, so this Lapatron crystal I just popped in here will fully charge them, and that'll be it. So let me go sleep through the night and wait for this to charge. Okay, I feel like that's a pretty well charged quantum suit legs. I'm not going to need to charge them up all the way. Place them on your uh, body here, and you'll see you've got some armor in your armor bar. The nice thing about this is that um, instead of the armor being damaged and destroyed like most armor in, in uh, Minecraft, the quantum suit leggings are energy based. So as they take damage, or um, basically as you get attacked by enemies, it's the energy in the quantum suit leggings that gets depleted, and then you can go ahead and recharge it in your MFSU and fill it back up. So you only ever have to craft these once and just keep recharging them, they'll never be destroyed. The other nice thing is if you hold control while you're walking, you start moving a lot faster. As you can see, I'm zipping along here, and if I let go of control, I'm back to my normal speed. So anybody who's been watching my videos has been seeing me run at this super fast speed, that's how I'm doing it, is with the quantum suit leggings. Okay, so that's the leggings. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, while I'm waiting here, get this energy out and just uh, pop a new one in here because I want to make sure this guy has enough juice for what I'm about to show you next. Um, the next item I want to show you here um, first I need to make an item called rubber boots. It's a piece of wool with some rubber around it, get your rubber boots. They're cool, um, basically they nullify fall damage. You can equip them if you want, and you won't take much fall damage if any at all. Um, there is a bit of a bug at the moment in 1.5 where sometimes fall damage isn't being completely null nullified, but they work pretty well. Um, however, they are a component um, along with another 2 Iridium. two rubber boots, and another empty Lapatron crystal gets us the quantum suit boots. The quantum suit boots, again, are just armor for you. So just like the quantum suit leggings, um, they store 1 million EU. They will protect you even more from damage, just like if you had equipped iron or diamond boots. Um, and it's energy that it uses to protect you with, so it'll never be broken or destroyed. And we can equip them. And first off, they nullify fall damage. Um, again, they're a little bit bugged and uh, don't always nullify it. But if you hold control and jump, you can see you jump much higher. Anybody who's been watching my video sees me jumping all over the place like a bunny, and that's uh, pretty much how I'm doing it. As I'm holding control, running along, and space to jump gets you this awesome height. So that's really neat. And of course, using this um, speedy mode and this jumping mode uses energy, so uh, you will need to recharge these after using them to run around. The next item for you actually does not require a um, iridium plate, so this is a little bit cheaper to use or to make. Uh, it's just two advanced circuits, an empty Lapatron crystal, and some reinforced glass gets you the quantum suit helmet. So let's go ahead and charge that guy up a little bit. Again, just another uh, piece of armor, and it'll protect you from even more damage. It's just like, you know, wearing any other armor. Um, but this time, it's protecting your head. We can equip this guy. And the nice thing about this is, it uh, allows you to breathe underwater. So if I jump into the water here, and I apologize, it's a little dark. 
you're not going to be able to see too cleanly. But if you pay attention to the bubbles at the bottom right, they're going down, and they automatically fill back up. So you're not going to run out of air while hanging out underwater, and you won't start drowning. So that's the benefit of the quantum suit helmet. And the last piece is, of course, the quantum suit body armor. It requires four iridium plates, so definitely a bit expensive in terms of materials. And it also requires three of these advanced alloys. And, of course, an empty Lapitron crystal. So, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. Quantum suit body armor. Um, again, just offers more protection and more damage reduction from enemies, which is great. Um, but the benefit of the quantum suit body armor is that it will completely nullify all incoming damage, regardless of anything else, until this unit is um, drained of energy. So falling, jumping in lava, pretty much nothing should be able to hurt you as long as the quantum bodysuit armor has some energy stored in it. And just like all the other quantum suit pieces, it stores one million units of energy to fully charge itself. So I think that's enough. Let's go ahead and equip it here and go for a lava bath. Dun dun dun. Well, that didn't work. So the quantum suit body armor is supposed to nullify all damage for you, but every now and then it doesn't entirely work. Um, you definitely want to be careful still, but it will help to prevent damage coming in because it adds, you know, damage reduction just like any armor will. And you can see as high as I'm jumping around up here, I'm not really taking any fall damage, which is nice. That's from the legs. Um, let's see if I can get a really good jump going. Nope. So, yeah, fall damage, no longer much of an issue. And, uh, you know, damage from enemies probably won't be taking much, if any at all. Lava still seems to hurt you a bit, but what are you going to do? Um, so I definitely recommend checking out these items. Plus, you know, to be honest with you, it looks pretty cool on your character. Very nice. So, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on the quantum suit, and I definitely recommend making them. My preference is to always make um, the, the leggings first and the boots second, and you can make the helmet anytime you want because it really doesn't require that UU Matter component. And you can see I did use almost a full stack of UU Matter to get myself the full body set. Um, the quantum suit body armor I usually get last um, mostly because I enjoy using the bat pack, and you can't use the bat pack and the body armor at the same time. And more often than not, the bat pack is more useful for me. So again, wrapping up this tutorial, and I'll catch y'all later.